Marisa. Oh, good morning. This is Marisa here, in Land Without a Warrant. I stayed here last night, that's how committed I am to the cause. Now, what we're doing today is talking to you about sleeping bags. And really, what I'm trying to decide, there's loads of them, there's all different sizes, and there's all scales, maybe. So what we're trying to decide is what sleeping bag is for you to keep you warm, okay? So you want to be warm and comfortable, you don't want to be like this. You just want a nice sleeping bag that'll give you a good night's sleep in your tent. Okay, first thing, the size of it matters, okay? If it's basically your body, you're relying on your body heat to heat you up inside the sleeping bag, okay? So all the surface space inside the sleeping bag, it's your body heat that would heat that. Well, of course, there's the insulation and everything like that as well and how thick it is, but that is a factor. So if it's too long, you've got, your feet might get cold. If it's too wide, you'll struggle to heat it up in the, in, in the sides, things like that. So something that's a good fit for you, that's nice and, and, and tapered and warm, um, will mean that you can get a, quite a light sleeping bag or the lightest sleeping bag to keep you comfortable, okay? So that's the first thing, nice neat size. And also, if you're, if you're too big for the sleeping bag, if, if it's squished around you, that can squish the loft insulation as well, which can make you that bit cool. So that's the first thing. Now, if you go into any shop, I might as well stay in the sleeping bag, you will see all ratings like this on the side of a sleeping bag. And about cheapers, what do they mean? You know, okay, there's different seasons, there's different comfort, uh, comfort, comfort ratings, all kinds of things like that. So, we've got lots of different sleeping bags, and there's a few different methods for explain, or for how they rate their uh, temperature. So that you can look at the sleeping bag, okay, what kind of conditions am I going to be in? Is it going to be a balmy summer night? Is it going to be um, a bit that bit colder? Different things like that. Okay, so obviously if you're going away somewhere like on holiday where it's going to be very uh, warm, you go with something like a one man, okay? And so here, now this, the snug pack do their own kind of temperature rating, which is that little bit different. But they say you'll see a comfort rating and a low rating, okay? So to be comfortable in a sleeping bag, they say the temperature should be seven degrees externally. Okay, then if you're inside the sleeping bag with very little clothes on or things like that, obviously the temperature is going to drop. So kind of a rule of thumb is if I'm outside in the night at seven degrees, what would I be wearing? What level of warmth, what level of clothes will I be wearing? And then put that on you inside of the sleeping bag, okay? So there's comfort and there's low. And your comfort here is seven and your low is two degrees. Now this is a pretty basic system on this. Say something like this will do something a bit more, um, there's a bit more detail in this, okay? So you'll see there's a, a women's symbol and a men's symbol. And that's really because the presumption is that women will feel the cold a bit more. And there's maybe five to six degrees of the difference between what a man will be comfortable in and what a woman will be comfortable in. So here you'll see there's women comfort five degrees, man comfort minus one degrees. Now there's variations in that obviously. Some women will be warmer or colder than, than others, same with men, okay? so. Basically, that's your kind of your scale, really. And, and so if a woman was in like zero degrees, she might be that bit colder, it'd be the limit. Or if, she, if a woman was in minus one, it'd be the limit of her comfort and she might be, you know, snuggled up and trying to retain her body heat. And a man might uh, find himself in that position in like minus three or four with this bag, okay? So there's, then you'll see either, there's either side here, there, this is extreme. So you will stay alive in this sleeping bag up to minus 16 degrees you might get you know you might be very very cold you might get a bit of you know a chest infection or something out of it but you're not going to you know die in the cold and minus 16 degrees that is your limit and it's not going to be a comfortable night's sleep you might not even sleep but that's your limit for this sleeping bag and then plus 23 is your limit for how warm it can be when you're in it without juice what did that basically okay so that rating will be on all sleeping bags uh, you'll see here now, it's, I'll maybe show you a two-tree season. A lot of people in Ireland go for a two-tree season bag, okay? And two-tree season, the comfort for a woman is seven and plus two for a man, okay? So that's kind of the range really for people, you know, plus two to plus seven. Um, provided you're wearing warm enough clothes inside in the tent and you're not in, in, inside in the sleeping bag and you're not in it, your underwear or something like that. And then your max is 24 and your extreme is minus 12. And 
This is one way of doing it, where they give the comfort rating, they give the extreme rating, and they have a, m a man and woman scale, okay? And if you see that, you'll kind of understand what that's about, okay? Because there's a lot of information there. Now, we have snug pack sleeping bags, which are absolutely fantastic. They're beautiful sleeping bags. They've got a bit of a different system, which I told you about in this small one okay and if you see comfort and and there's only comfort there's no men and women scale the comfort rating usually is for a woman okay so it they are on the side of caution i suppose they say you know minus 10 you will be comfortable up to minus 10 in this sleeping bag and then say if there was a, a somebody that slept a bit warmer or a, you know a well-built man or something he might be comfortable up to minus 14 or something like that but that's that's kind of around the the the, the guide for it and then you've got um a low of minus 15 right so that's pure freezing now you'll see this is a big bag loads of loft and insulation in it and this is a four season bag so this would be if you were going to be out in winter extreme temperatures if you were going to be you know camping somewhere where there was snow things like that and um, so with the snow packs we've arranged, this is the, the lightest one and we've arranged all the way through to the heaviest one. They're very, very good bags. Now, there's another thing that factor and that's metabolism. And that is how warm your body is naturally and how cold you sleep, okay? So some people, if they're a lot colder um, at night anyway, if you feel the cold, like myself, I'd always feel the cold. You'd see me swaddled up in, in, in down when other people be in a jumper. So therefore, if you do sleep a bit colder, I think it, it's best to err on the side of caution and get a sleeping bag that has a, a comfort rating of a good bit lower. So maybe, say, if I was sleeping in seven degrees, if I had a comfort rating of seven de degrees on my bag, or if I was going to be sleeping at seven degrees, shall we say, I might get a bag that has a comfort rating of one degree, right? So that means it's going to be that bit warmer and I'm going to be comfortable and I'm going to have a comfortable night's sleep. There's another thing that's actually great, and that's a sleeping bag liner. Very handy thing to have if you're going camping, just in case it turns a bit cold or you just find you're that bit chilly. And especially if you've been doing activity during the day and you're going to bed at night, you can, you know, your muscles are tired, you can get that bit colder. So this is just a layer, a, a liner layer, right? That goes into, you put yourself into that and then this goes into the sleeping bag. And that can provide, depends on the liner now, but it can provide up to an extra season of warmth. So maybe, five ten degrees extra warmth with just this little liner and it packs away if i can find one packs away a really small really nice neat easy to, to st stuff in your bag with silk ones which are um warmer than the cotton ones but both are very good actually if i go and camp here they always stick one of them in just in case um i get cold and as well if you are carrying your own pack weight is a consideration you want a nice light sleeping bag and usually a warm sleeping bag can be that bit bigger and could take up a lot of your pack so um uh, my sleeping bags when i'm going hiking and camping are quite small and uh, so i have the liner to add in to give myself that extra bit of warmth and it's, it's a really efficient way of um, adding a bit more heat to a sleeping bag now we have a huge range of sleeping bags we've got family ones we've got rectangular ones that can zip in together to become a double sleeping bag We've got really light little ones with mosquito nets built into them. So if you're going traveling in Asia or something like that, or even if you're doing a bit of summer camping here by a, a lake or something where there might be um, midges, some, we've got these kind of guys. Then we've got what I've got here, you know, a, a nice mummy, comfy, cozy sleeping bag that's uh, not too big, not too small, quite a nice one to carry with you. So um, you can pop in and have a look. And um, before you come in or when you're in, you can chat to us about it. Have a think about what, what kind of camping you might be doing, what kind of temperatures you might be in. Um, it's always a good idea as well when you go camping to bring something like a little hat with you, a nice fleece, so that if you are that bit colder, you can pop them on and feel comfortable. Because remember, when you're sleeping in the tent, you're not moving and your body heat will go down. So, you know, you just you, it's really nice and important to be warm and comfortable. So... This might help you uh, to understand what you need. And uh, I think I might return to my snooze. Uh, I'll see you all next week. Uh, I'm Marisa. Thank you very much for watching.